a three, three for three. Wow, it's it's so good. Yeah. It's such a good yeah. card. Uh, I'm gonna pass and just hang my head in shame. Hello there, I'm Carlos, and this is Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. In today's episode of Kingdoms and Friends, we have MTG Nerd Girl and MTG Mudsta for some awesome EDH. If you're enjoying this series and you'd like us to keep going, let us know who you'd like to see on the show next. It could be big creators, it could be up and coming creators. We love making new friends. While you're commenting down below, go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell. That way you can continue to have our 8-bit funky style EDH show in your life. If you'd like to take it a step further, consider becoming a patron and joining the kingdom over at patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. You'll get access to our private discord. We have a looking for game channel, deck help, an ED8 budget league coming very soon. We have monthly game days, live events, extra giveaways, and much more. I hope to see you there. Our first guest today is MTG Nerd Girl. She has a lot of fun stuff going on as the CEO of TCG Studios, founder of DGen Streams. She's a Twitch partner streaming a lot of Arena and other awesome games. She's an MTG Pro, so you really won't regret checking out her channel on Twitch and her thoughts over on Twitter, both at MTG Nerd Girl. Our second guest is one of the OGs of EDH gameplay content, and that is MTG Mudsta. Andrew started putting out videos almost eight years ago and has had amazing consistency and dedication in continuing to put out high quality EDH gameplay. His style has a soothing voiceover of all the gameplay and an awesome music. He puts out deck text, reviews, and gameplay videos every Monday and Thursday, so go check him out at MTG Mudsta on YouTube and Twitter. All right, for our game today, Nerd Girl is playing Tessa Orzov Scion with the starting hand of Two Planes, Legion's Landing, Swords to Plowshares, Thraben Doomsayer, Utter End, and Eldrazi Monument. I am playing Garth One Eye. This is my five color vehicles deck that our community helped me build. And my starting hand includes Alchemist Refuge, Razor Tide Bridge, Seed of the Synod, Talisman of Creativity, Emery Lurker of the Lock, Conqueror's Galleon, and Research Thief. Julian is playing Niv Mizzet Reborn with a starting hand of Pillar of Perens, Scalding Tarn, Chevil Bane of Monsters, Old Breach, Wear and Tear, Rizmari Command, and Dragonlord Selimgar. Andrew is playing Shorakai Genesis Engine with a starting hand of a Plains, Prairie Stream, Skycloud Expanse, Soul Ring, Mech Titan Core, Surge Hacker Mech, and Thought Monitor. Oh my gosh, I think this is my first time going first in a game of Commander. <laughs> this is like my fourth game of real Commander. Just no attack Julian. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I think I like the Niv Mizzet the least because I, I have a feeling I usually go after whichever deck I think I will understand the least. Okay. Like, I don't know if I don't know what your deck can do, then I want you to be dead. I will play a Plains and a Legion's Landing, giving me a 1 1 white vampire token with lifelink. And I'll pass the turn. Um, I'll draw for turn. I will play a tapped um, artifact land. It is the Razor Tide Bridge, blue white, and pass turn. I will draw a card, and I will play a Scalding Tarn. I will actually go sack it and grab a Stomping Ground, shock myself, and I'll get a Birds of Paradise out there. Oof. I need many colors, and so I will take three damage and get that land out there, and I'll I'll pass to Mudsta. It's good with just a tapped Prairie Stream, and I'm gonna pass. Let's play a Swamp, and I'm gonna, uh, you know, hold true to my word and attack the Niv Mizzet player for one. I will take the one. I will gain one because it's a little life-linking vampire, and then oh. I will pass the turn. All right, I'll untap, draw. All right, I'll play a Seat of the Synod and a Talisman of Creativity, which is uh, blue red, and that'll be my turn. I will untap, draw. I'm gonna play a. Pillar of the Perunes. I can tap it to add one mana of any color, but I can only spend that on a multicolored card. Cast a Cheville Bane of Monsters. It's the beginning of my upkeep. If my opponents control no creatures with bounty counters on them, I can put a bounty counter on one, and whenever a permanent opponent controls with a bounty counter on it dies, I gain three life and draw a card. Yeah, I'm done. We're just going to play Skycloud Expanse. Tap that for two. We'll do a Soaring, Ooh. and that's it. All right. Draw. Play a planes, and let's go ahead and attack 
Come on, you're not doing over there anything over there, Carlos. Yeah. I will <laughs> poke you for one. Okay, take it. I will gain a life as well. And then we're going to tap three, two white, and play a Thraben Doomsayer. It's a two-two for three that allows me to tap and put a one-one white human creature token onto the battlefield. And I will pass the turn. Um, draw for turn. Yeah, I'm going to play Emery, Lurker of the okay. Lock, for one blue. I will then mill myself four. Talisman of Dominance, Liquid Metal Torque. Wow, I was not going to get lands. Jeez, Padim, and a High Market. Um, unfortunately, that's not a land I can play. It's not an artifact land, but I do then think I'll play the Alchemist Refuge. Can't play anything, so I will pass the turn. All right, I will untap. Um, on my upkeep, I will put a bounty counter on that Emery. So when Emery dies, I will gain three life and draw a card, if that ever happens. Okay. I will go to my draw step, pay three for a Prismari command, um, and I'm going to yep. choose to draw two and discard two, and then also create a treasure token. Draw two, and we're going to get rid of a Bring to Light, because we're a little far away from that, and also Hull Breach. I guess, and I'm going to make a treasure token, and then I will pass. With the planes, I will then cast Shurikai. That's really it. I'm slow going. What does that do? So it's a vehicle that can be in its crew eight for an eight eight, and I can pay one colorless, tap it, draw two, discard a card, and I create a one one pilot that can crew vehicles as though its power is two greater. So for a three, basically. All right, well, you, you can't protect yourself, so I'll just continue the love and poke mud stuff for one. I'll take the one. I'm gonna go ahead and play the broker. So this allows me to tap sacrifice to put counters. I can also tap remove counters to make treasures. I can also sack artifacts to create flying inklings. I can untap the broker by paying four. And I will pass the turn. Draw for turn. Let's play the Talisman of Dominance. I will play, it's technically a vehicle, a Cultivator's Caravan. I'll pass. Untap, upkeep, draw. Tap these two, and I will cast Reborn Hope, return target multicolored card from my graveyard to my hand. I'm going to grab that Prismari command again, just in case I don't hit a land. And that is my turn. I'll pass. Off return. Planes. Oh. So I'm going to cast Hitori, Pilot Prodigy, and he grants all of my vehicles the ability to have crew for two. And at the beginning of combat, he a target artifact creature gains lifelink and vigilance until the end of turn. Jeez. So I'm going to crew up Shorakai by tapping Katori, and I'm going to move to combat. I'll target Shorakai with the ability, so it has vigilance and lifelink. I think MTG Nero Girl's been in a bit aggressive this game, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go at her just with this one just for now. It's an 8-8 with lifelink and vigilance. All right, well then I think I'm just gonna make a human soldier token. Oh, I forgot about the, oh yeah. And yep. Yep. Uh, <laughs> throw it under a large bus. <laughs> <laughs> I'll gain eight life and uh, pass my turn. On Come tap on. is uh, we're going to attack all three of my current creatures at Mudstuck, I don't think he can do much, right? With one, just the signet. <laughs> you can make a one-one. Mm, I have a soaring and uh, I can make a one-one pilot. So with, no, I can't uh, do By very tapping much. the ability? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm gonna attack you then for five, six. I will take six. I will gain a life. And also my legion's landing will flip now. Pass the turn. I'll uh, draw for turn. All right, I'm gonna play the liquid metal torque with uh, her ability from the graveyard. Target it and then cast it. That's it. Okay, I will untap, upkeep, draw. Well, we finally hit a land, wooded foothills. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna hang out there and I will pass. Untap, draw. Five, I will cast a Sky Sovereign console flagship, which <gasps> whenever it enters a battlefield or attacks, it deals three damage to target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls. I feel like if I keep attacking MTG Near Girl, I'm going to lose. So I'm going to- I will blow up your stuff. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can, I can see this. Julian, I'm going to make you a deal. I'm going to blow up Emery to draw you a card and gain you some life if you promise not to put the bounty counter on Katori for the next couple of turns. I, I you cool. know, I can uh, I can make that deal. Emery goes by. So I will crew up Shorakai once more, and then I'll move to combat. It's good with everyone. Uh, this will gain Vigilance and Lifelink, and Julian, I'll swing at you this time. I'm inclined to block with my 1-3 Death Touch guy. Completely forgot about that. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will gain eight 
because that still happens. And uh, this goes back to the command zone. I'm good. All right, end of turn. I'm going to make a vampire with my uh, legendary foresty here. Or legendary first of first fort in my head that looked like forest. It's, it's fine. A, yeah, it used to be a forest. Reading yeah. is for blockers. It's fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and just attack Mudsta for two. We'll keep that life total yep. under control. Yep, 47. I'm going to pass the turn. I will flash in a research thief at the end of turn. I'll draw a card. I'm going to play... Sidri, Galvanic Genius. Yeah, I'll take a damage and uh, take a black. But uh, I can pay a blue and a non-creature artifact. It becomes an artifact creature with power and toughness equal to its convert a mana cost. And then I can also give artifact creatures death touch and lifelink. I'm going to pay a blue and take another damage. Oh. I'm going to target my Cultivator's Caravan. Yeah, I'm going to swing a 5-5 five, five, or a 3-3 three, three without flying and a 3-3 three, three with flying. I'll send the Flyer at Andrew mm -hmm. and the Caravan at Julian. I'll take three. I'm going to pay three and I'm going to cast this Prismari command again and I'm going to destroy that Cultivator's Caravan and make another treasure token. Okay, I will draw a card over here. We'll play another Talisman and that is all. Pass turn. At the end of your turn, I'm going to pay life, sack the Wooded Foothills and I'm going to go grab Indatha Triome. I will untap draw. I think I'm going to play a tapped Hollowed Fountain and I am going to tap the Stomping Ground for a Wayfarer's Bobble. Pass from there, I think. I'm going to go to crew up the Sky Sovereign with Katori, and I'll move to combat. I'm not super interested in having that thing blow stuff up. It seems kind of scary. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so now that it's a creature, we're going to go ahead and attempt <coughs> to... Swords to Plowshares it. Nice. Your attempt is going to be successful. I'm nice. going to gain based on his power, so I'm going to go up to 50. I'm going to cast Mech Titan Core. Oh. So this is the, uh, like the Voltron one. Yeah. I will cast a Surge Hacker Mech. As it ETBs, it deals damage equal to twice the number of vehicles I control to a creature or planeswalker an opponent controls. I'm going to take out Fane. Uh, so in response, I will make a 1-1 one -one with the Thraben, and then oh, I will oh my God. tap the Fane, sacrificing it to put two plus one plus one counters on him. And it's a 3-3 three, three for 3. Wow, it's... It's so good. Yeah, it's such a good yeah, card. Uh, I'm going to pass and just hang my head in shame. <laughs> I will untap. It, Tessa is not out yet, right? No, mm -hmm. sorry. Put her off to the side. All right, I'm going to play a Plains. So we're going right. to play Eldrazi Monument for 5. Oh, no. Ooh. Gives all of my creatures wow. plus 1, plus 1, flying and indestructible. I'm going to die. <laughs> Good thing Julian sh shot my Cultivator's Caravan. Okay. Hey, I mean. <laughs> yeah, we will swing for just 4 lifelink over at Mudsta. And, uh, and then I will pass. I'll draw. All right, I will play a Tezzeret Master of the Bridge. Creatures and Planeswalkers uh, spells I cast have infinity for artifacts. It does X damage to each opponent where X is the number of artifacts I control and I gain X life. Turn an artifact to my hand. And his ult is exile the top 10 cards of my library, put all artifact cards from among them on the battlefield. I can't play my artifact right now, so I will plus him. I'll go up to seven. And each of you will take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whew. And wow. I gain seven. Okay, I will attack Mudstuff for three. Ooh, I'll take three. I'll draw a card. I'll play the planes now. Tap both of those for another talisman. Talisman of Impulse. I'll be done after that. Okay, uh, at the end of your turn, I am going to sack this Wayfarer's Bobble. I will go ahead to my turn, untap, upkeep, draw. I guess we'll tap these three for a Leyline Prowler. It's a 2-3 with Death Touch and Life Link that I can tap to make any color of mana, and I will pass the turn. Draw, and I'll cast a Thought Monitor and just draw two cards. I will play an Island, cast a, a Raider's Card, and uh, just pass the turn, because Eldrazi Monument scares me. Uh, end of turn, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and use the Thraben to make a thing. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to remove a counter to make a treasure. Hmm. And I will use this little puppy as my treasure. And then on upkeep, <laughs> I will sack the 1-1 one, one human to the monument and draw for turn. I'll play a land for turn. 
I'm gonna go ahead and play the Thesa, and uh, we'll go to combat. Who does not have flying things? Um, Mine's I have a flyer. I have a zero one. All right, Carlos, you have the most health, so we're gonna come at you for four. Alrighty. I will gain four. Pass the turn. Before the end of your turn, I think I need to do a white and a black, I guess, and I'm going to despark the Tezzeret. Okay, I'll draw for turn. Um, I'll just swing a 3-3 three, three flyer at Julian. Yeah, I will take that. I'll draw a card. I'll play a Dark Moss Bridge. It's an artifact land, comes in tapped, indestructible, black-green, and a Conqueror's Galleon. I'll also play the Omen Keel, and that'll be my turn. Untap, upkeep, draw, and uh, cast Niv Mizzet. So when he enters, I'm going to reveal the top 10 cards of my library, and for each color pair, I can choose one of those cards and put it into my hand. From the ones here I'm able to keep, there's a Mirari's Wake, General Ferris Rakirik, Turn to Mist, and a Rip Apart. Oh, and an Ancient Excavation. Oh yeah, I need to choose between the General Ferris and the Rip Apart. I guess I'll take the General Ferris, actually. I am going to tap the Birds of Paradise and sack one of my treasures, um, and I'm going to basic land cycle the Ancient Excavation to go get a basic land to play. I'll get a Island, and I will play that for turn. Discard, and I'm going to get rid of this Athreos the Shroud Veiled, and I will pass the turn. Great. Untap. Draw. Let's go with an Ancient Den. I'm going to cast Fabricate. I'm going to go find Cyber Drive, and I'm going to brew these two up. So it's the Raider's Carve and the Search Hacker Mech. Trigger to put Lifelink and Vigilance on the Search Hacker Mech. It has Menace. Carlos, that's going to go at you. Even if I crew, I'll have one It's got creature. Menace. Yep, so yeah. I, how much do I take? Five, and I gain five. Pass turn. All right, end of your turn. I'm going to go ahead and tap this to sack my treasure and make a 2-1 Inkling. And I will also tap the Thraven to make a soldier. Go to untap upkeep. I will sack the soldier to yeah, the trigger. monument. Yeah. Tap and draw. Head on over to combat. Let's see, you have so much life. I know, I'm sorry. Uh, I keep gaining it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, I'll take it. And I will gain four of it. And I will pass the turn. Draw for turn. I'm going to a three blue and take one damage from the talisman. I can turn the Conqueror's Galleon into a creature. Crew the Omen's Keel. And then I can make two of these into two two creatures till end of turn i'm gonna send it all at you andrew it's um how much is it 11 11 sure i got a 23 okay so how much is the omen keel you exile seven cards and i can play lands so there's one island in that exiled pile and then i will draw four cards and does this uh flip yeah so i have a conquerors foothold land i'll play a mox opal i'll play a Cascading Cataracts. I'm going to play Unwinding Clock. If that is good, that is everything. So I'll pass the turn. Yeah, I will untap. Nothing on upkeep. I will draw a card. Six. I'm going to cast a Dragon Lord Salimgar. I'm going to take the Research Thief. So I will just go ahead and just. Well, make I'm going to use it to. Cr- I'm going to crew if you take it. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, I've already made my decision, so... Okay. Yeah, I, I, I'll crew I, my I, omen, Keel. Uh, that is my turn. Is uh, it going, End of turn. I'll pass to exile, nib visit. Tap. Draw. Play Exotic Orchard. Let's see, uh, do I gain life? Is, is that the one where I gain you life? get a or basic I... land. And, play taps. and then I'll cast the Cyber Giant Awakener. Go to combat, trigger on the Surge Hacker mech. I will go all in at Carlos for 18 I'm going to flash in Brea Ethereum Shaper. So blocking two four fours with my two flying Thopters. I will then sacrifice them. Give minus four, minus four to one of your things. The, the best one, I guess, um, that's not blocked. So I will block two of the four fours and that are vehicles and I'll kill a third. So I'll kill okay. the Vigilance one. Oh, that's for me. I'm done. Okay. Uh, end of turn. I'm going to go ahead and make a soldier i will also make a vampire with these in this and then i'm going to make a treasure 
and then I will go to upkeep. I'm gonna sack the inkling to the monument. And when a black creature dies, it makes a spirit with my general. Okay, untap, drop. I will play a land for turn. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and I'm gonna swing for everything at <laughs> Julian. Didn't Fane have counters on it? Two counters? I so removing it. them at the end of turn. Oh, okay. Gotcha. It has a, a treasure puppy. Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> you have to okay. sacrifice it, though. That's so sad. That is sad. All well, right, then I'll so. use this one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's already feeling so, the burn. So I'm going to go to my blockers. I guess I'll put the birds in front of Fane, and I will put Dragonlord Silumgar in front of Tesa. Uh, after I've blocked... I'm going to tap this birds and tap this for white, and I'm going to destroy the Eldrazi monument. Okay, that will resolve. What I'm also going to do before damage just says sacrifice three white creatures, remove it. So I'm going to sacrifice the Tesa herself, as well as two of my, one of my spirits and one of my vampires. Uh, when a black creature dies, I get to make another spirit untapped, and I will remove your Silmgar. Okay, yep. I'm going to go ahead and cast Brought Back, returning two permanents that have entered my graveyard this turn. Permanents. Wow. Bringing wow. back Ooh. the Memorial plus the no Tesa. No way. Shoot. Okay. That spice. Some moves. Yeah. So how much damage am I taking? <laughs> Nine damage. And I gain four. Pass the turn. End of turn. I'm going to use the Conqueror's Foothold to get back... Hadim, Council of Innovation. You can give my artifacts hexproof, and if I oh. have the biggest one. Uh, the is gone, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, I, I got it back, yeah. Okay, I'll untap, draw a card. First attempt a Padim Council of Innovation. I will play a Monastery Mentor, and then I will play a Prodigy's Prototype. I will then go to combat... Crew the Omen Keel with my Monk. Yeah, we'll send these. And Brea. I can't get through like you, Nerd Girl. Like you have to kill Julian. Um, do I make one? No offense, no offense, Julian. I just... It's, oh, no, no. Not, <laughs> he knows not, it's in your hand, taking, so... No, I'm taking it, yep. Sending 12 at you. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll take 12. Okay. Uh, when this Omen Keel attacks, I get a dude that'll probably die. Exile three of the top cards of your library. That's a Sacred Foundry, a Polluted Delta, and a Farseek. I draw three cards, and I'll play a Silver Bluff Bridge as my land return. I'll pass. Okay. Untap, upkeep, draw. I need some life. I'm going to send two lifelink death touch at you, Carlos. I'll block with the pilot. I will gain two life. Then I will tap these four and sacrifice this treasure to play a Mirari's Wake. I will then tap these six and exile all creatures. I guess I have Brea. I can sack some stuff. Oh, I could have killed you, Julian! I'm the worst! <laughs> I mean, Oh, could you have? I mean, you can do it in response, right? Yeah. Three it's damage three. per two yeah. artifacts. So yeah, so, yeah, you have to. I have to kill you, yeah. And then it'll be removed from the stack. Oh, I will sacrifice I guess, a bunch of talismans, so... Uh. I am bolted three times. That whole getting back that Eldrazi monument was... That was That's the play of the game, for spicy. sure. For sure. Yeah. Papa Cannoneer, brew up this, give this Link Link and Vigilance, uh, swing this, swing this at uh, Carlos. I'll block the 2-2 two -two with my 3-3. Three -three. Take, Take eight. 8. I can't for it. I will pass. I will make a vampire with my land. Uh, I will untap. And then uh, when this thing triggers, I'm going to go ahead and tap this guy to make an inkling to sack that, which will give yep. me a spirit. Okay, drop. And uh, we're going to go ahead and make a number of 1-1 one, one soldiers equal to my devotion, which will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I will go ahead and sack these five plus this one that just came in, spirity wise, mm -hmm. um, to kill um, both of your. I'm going to respond with that cast. I guess I'll sack the Omen Keel, Seat of the Synod. I give her minus four, minus four with that on the stack. Then I'll just I'll just let her die. Okay, and then this will enter the battlefield, and I will just get only four. 
Then I will move to combat and I will attack Kingdom TV. Yeah, I'll block a 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, I gain 6. Then that will be my turn. End of turn. I will lash in Shorakai Genesis Engine and I'll get a monk token. One tap, draw a card. I'm going to mm-hmm. play uh, Minamo first. Tap 6. Four, Cyber Drive Awakener. And I can attack for one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, if I, if I kill... You're either dying on my turn, yeah, or you're, you're going to die me. on yeah. MTG Nerd Girl's turn. So right. it's a matter of who you want to die to. Uh, 24. What, what blockers do you have? No flying blockers? I have a Kappa Cannoneer Flyer. That's it. Yeah, we'll <clears> send <throat> it all. We'll send everything but the unwinding clock. I'll block Brea. She'll die. I think you'll die. Yep. I'll draw one, two, three, four, five, six cards. I'll discard some lands. Pass the turn. Untap okay. my artifacts. So upkeep, I will sacrifice one of the humans. Draw. So yeah, we're going to attack with everything except for the Thraben Doomslayer. So four, I'll five, tell six. you, my only play is to give both of my creatures lifelink and death touch. So I'll have, be able to block two sets of damage and gain seven. Okay, so then that means you would take, so if you block these two and you gain seven, uh, you take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times two. Yep, there you go. You got it. Woohoo! Nice. Drazi Monument for the wins. So we had a few technical difficulties and it was getting late. So some of us were feeling the the tiredness in our bones. And so sometimes you make mistakes when you do that. And I I know I did. I think maybe I had a path or two to victory, but uh, that's just how it goes sometimes with Commander. But either way, I had a blast. I think our guests did too. They were amazing, and it was a pleasure to have them. MTG Nerd Girl and MTG Mudsta. Make sure to go check them out across the socials. I don't think you'll regret it. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And tell me down in the comments what you thought of my Garth One Ride deck. Should I keep it Garth, or should I try Kenrith as the commander? That haste on Kenrith is really compelling. Lastly, consider becoming part of the kingdom and supporting us over at patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. A special thank you to our samurai patrons, Chris Crowley, David Siraj, Dr. Birdseed, Jason Garner, John McManus, Jordan Ritchie, Orton Christensen, Revolution Gaming, and Worthy Glover. You really are the pillars of kingdoms. And with that, thanks as always for watching and keep it nerdy.